What's up guys, sorry no video for like a week, I know this is like the most important time to do videos when a new product is released, and I know you guys want to see those videos, sorry. Anyways, uh, I've got a video of an app review, and the app that I'm going to be reviewing is iMovie. A lot of people requested for me to review this. Uh, this only works on the iPhone 4. And this is the new app uh, that they actually have on Mac computers where you can edit all your videos and movies and stuff like that. This is the editing software that comes uh, pre-installed on the Mac. And now they have it for the iPhone for a $5 download from the App Store. So let's go ahead and open it up and get right into it. Okay, so I already have a project here. Uh, you'll be able to scroll through all of your project libraries. Your project libraries are just like, this is a separate video that I'm editing right here. Uh, and then the then you can add more, like I can hit right here to add a new project. And then I can start working on a new project. So here at the bottom we have a delete button which will delete the project. And here we have a play button which will begin playing the project, so what you have edited so far. Uh, and this button right here will actually export it uh, in different qualities and I'll get into that in just a few minutes. First, first, let's go ahead and show you the editing of a project. So here's the one that I've already been working on. Uh, you can see the video clips here at the bottom, which you can scroll through by dragging your finger across really any part of the screen. And you can see the videos, and it shows up here as you're scrolling through it. Here's us actually drawing on a guy's face. I'll show you that. We're actually, he passed out in our garage when they were playing poker. Got a little bit too drunk when we drew on him. Now let me go ahead and tell you, this app did not really make me very happy. It's not what I expected it would be. It's not the full iMovie like you would see on your computer. They made it out like it was, but it's really not. It's basically just a little bit more advanced version of the camera app. You guys know if you film a video on the iPhone in the camera app, you can shorten it. Like you can cut the end piece uh, and the beginning piece off. That's basically all you can do in here. You can actually cut video clips. The only thing you're going to be able to do is hit on a video clip and drag the start and end points by grabbing these yellow markers if I can grab it and that's all you can do you can not actually like select on the part and then cut you can't do that one thing that it can do that the camera app can't do is transitions so we can add transitions to it which I will demonstrate right here you'll see that it has a transition hit the play button And you see it just did a little fade, so it faded out. So really if you're wanting to take a little section out of that video clip, you're going to have to import the video multiple times and uh, get those sections out, then import it again, and then get that section out. So really they should have added a cut feature, like to cut a, a certain section of the clip out. Now uh, you can actually even use the camera app to uh, import videos or pictures into this like directly just like you can on iMovie take a picture or video from your iPhone and it goes immediately into iMovie or you can use the import feature and import video photos or audio and audio will actually let you go uh, through your music library and you can add that in let's pick a song I don't really want to get hit for copyright infringement so let's see um, I'm gonna pick a Dave Day song hopefully Dave Days isn't mine We'll pick a uh, lollipop cover. Hopefully I'm not going to get in trouble for that. So as you see, it adds to the song, and it, it's as long as the clip goes. So let's play that. And you see that it adds a clip behind it, or the audio behind it. And there's just jumping on the trampoline. I hear, I hear at the beginning, you see that I have a photo, and it's basically just a still photo, just like you can on iMovie. And then, as I said, you can use this button right here, and you can actually take a picture or video uh, using either front or back camera with iMovie. And I've got it sitting on my desk, that's why it's black right now, but I'm going to hit cancel on that. Now let's hit settings right here. There's a settings button. We can set the theme, which is going to set uh, the transitions and stuff like that. And it, actually, the themes even have a theme music, which you can turn on. I'm not going to do that. It just puts a theme music behind uh, the theme. But these themes will automatically set your transitions and where you can put titles and stuff like that. So I'm just going to hit done. So let's go ahead and add a new clip in here and let's see what transition it gives us. Let's go to video uh, and you can scroll through all of your videos and I'm just going to pick this one. Okay, this is just us laying on the trampoline just talking to the camera and stuff. And as you see it automatically adds a transition in right there in between two video clips. And you can double tap on that transition and edit it. You can go to none. Uh, you can set the duration of the transition. And you can go to theme. Which will change the theme of it. Edward Cullen. 
And there you go. And then you see it adds that light shining thing uh, as a transition. Looks like a sun that comes up. Also, if you double tap on a clip, uh, I will bring up the clip settings. Uh, you can do the title style, where you can add a title to the opening, middle, or ending of the clip. Uh, you can add the location, which is already in there if you've got it set up to do that. And you can turn the audio on or off for the clip. So, I mean, it is a little bit more featured than the camera app. It really depends what you need. Do you need something that can clip multiple clips together and you can shorten them and add music and titles and transitions and stuff like that? I mean, it is a good app. For five bucks, it's pretty good. So let's say we're done with our project. We can go back and we want to export it. We can export in medium, which is 360p, large, which is 540p, and HD 720p. Now, if you're wanting to upload this from YouTube directly from your iPhone, you are not, to my knowledge, or every way that I've tried it, going to be able to upload in HD to YouTube straight from your iPhone. What you have to do, you export it in HD. Once it's done, it'll show up in your camera roll. Then you got to go to your computer, and you've got to sync it up with your computer and upload it to YouTube so it'll be in HD. For some reason, the iPhone won't let you upload in HD to YouTube. I wish they could because that's the whole reason I like this camera because I don't want to have to import those videos to upload all the time uh, to be in HD. But if you do upload it from the iPhone, it still is in pretty good quality. So that is the iMovie app. My thoughts on it is it's a pretty good app. Definitely for five bucks, uh, it's worth it if you like editing video and playing with videos and stuff like that. And especially if you want to film some videos for YouTube on this thing because you can definitely edit it on here. But since you do have to upload in HD, as I said, I would rather just edit in the real iMovie uh, filming multiple clips because you can do a little bit more in the real iMovie on the computer. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to download this, there's a link below in the description. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button above this video for more videos on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.